Okay, so this is 10 things that you can put under a black light and they'll glow in the dark. Um, we have some cash, we have some tonic water, we're going to do turmeric, which is a spice you can buy at the grocery store. We're going to do some fluorescein, which is, which is a chemical, it's very, very nice. Um, I have a set of five fluorescent liquids uh, that will point out the color before we put them in the black light and then after. I have an unused glow in the dark thing. Uh, and if you've already used one too, if you put it under a black light, that'll work as well. I have laundry detergent. I have a banana peel. I have some spinach. And then I just have some neon colored things. So we're going to go through one by one and we're going to look at. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the lights and we're going to get the black light on. This is giving off ultraviolet light. Okay, so the purple that you're seeing, this, this kind of color, is not what's a, the biggest idea here, the most important thing. Um, what's more important than this is that, that an invisible light that you can't see is being given off. But when I bring things nearby, we can see them. So, here is a set of glow-in-the-dark goggles. They're not really glow-in-the-dark, I shouldn't have said that. Um, but these, when you put them under the black light, you can see the color, the pigment, coming out really well because it fluoresces in that black light. So there's the blue green, kind of a neon yellow, orange, and pink. And anything that kind of looks neon looking will, will work just as well. So if we have some pink and, and orange markers, you can see that and you can even see the writing on them showing up very nicely. Now, this is a set of five fluorescent liquids, okay? The colors of them, it goes from clear and colorless, so without color, we have a yellow, a pink, an orange, and, a, and another yellow. But when I bring the ultraviolet light on them, you can see a fluorescence. Now we're seeing blue, a purple, an orange, a yellow orange, and kind of a yellow green. Okay, and if we take that away, put that back, it's a very nice set. Now, the one on the far left there that's clear and turns blue is quinine. And quinine is in tonic water, so if you purchase some tonic water and then put a black light near it, it'll glow in the dark blue like this. Okay. Now, some other things that you can buy in a supermarket. If you take a banana and you look at the orange spots on it, if you get really close in there, it's really hard to see on the camera, but if you, if you go ahead and look at it under a black light, you can see it live. Now, a glow, in, um, a glow strip. What are these called? Glow stick. Glow stick. <laughs> Glow stick, even if you haven't activated it, it still has the dye in there and that will fluoresce under a black light. Okay? And then laundry detergent. Okay, so I've poured a little bit of laundry detergent. When I bring this close by, you can see that on the cap, but if you look down inside of it, you can really see the laundry detergent fluoresces. That's going to help get your clothes whiter when you put them under a black light. Now, we're going to switch sides here for a second. I'm going to come over a little closer for the last few. Money has europium in it, and that europium gives off different signals. So if you look at this, you can see kind of an orange strip on there, and that helps with deterring from counter theft, counterfeits. And there's also a blue one. Now this five looks a little newer, so I can actually see a few fives here, and then a big one there that are not present unless I'm putting them under that ultraviolet light. Okay. Also in a supermarket, you can buy spinach. If we grind up some spinach, and a little bit of alcohol, it's going to extract the chlorophyll. And the chlorophyll will look a nice red under a black light. Now that doesn't show up well on the camera, but if you try that, you'll see a really, really distinct red color coming off of it. Okay. Then, if you have any foreign money lying around, that will show up very well. So this is a Canadian $5 bill. And so here you can see that the different pieces that they put into it. And some places will actually put in where they have something like a picture or something like that on there. Okay? Now the last two, this is turmeric. It's a spice you can buy it at the supermarket. I'm going to pour it into some ethanol. And when I do, you can see that the color coming off of that is really nice. If I turn off the black light, it's gone. Turn it back on, and there it is. And the other one that I have is called fluorescein. And this one's really brilliant.
And the last one I'll show you, this is just a regular glow in the dark strip, and I'm actually going to put something with this. I'm going to put uh, this plastic container I've sprayed sunscreen inside. So sunscreen absorbs the ultraviolet light, and so it'll prevent that from going through to this, this strip. So I'm going to set this on top of this. Then I'm going to put the black light on it. It's going to activate that glow in the dark pigment. Okay. And then when we turn this off, you can see where, where the sunscreen was that's preventing this from activating. If I turn that black light on again, and that gets going really nicely. Okay? In addition to that, if you just have regular paper at home, that will of course go off in the black light, and you can probably see my goggles and t-shirt as well. Alright, and those are 10 things that glow in the dark under an ultraviolet light.